Hey guys, it's Carly, and I've got some book mail to open, a Funko Pop to unbox and show you, so let's get started. All right, so we'll start with the book mail, then we'll check out the Funko Pop. First, I wanna thank everybody for all of your kind messages last week. I lost my dog of almost 15 years, Ollivander, and he was the one who got me through. I got him right after my dad was killed in a car accident, pretty much, and he was the reason that I got up some days it was just so awful right after all of that so he got me through it and it's just been kind of a long week so thank you so much for all of your kind words they do mean a lot and I read everything even if I'm slow to reply I do read it so thank you alrighty so book mail I don't think this is a book actually so that's a little bit weird but I bought this because I really like the idea of sending sealed letters to people when I send out like giveaway packages and things and so that's what I wanted to get was something that like a Hogwarts crest wax seal kit so I think that's what I did it comes with this cool envelope and with nothing in it so yeah, that's cool. I'll keep the envelope because it's nifty. Um, and then it comes with like a spoon to melt the wax in. You put the, the heat under here, the wax stick in here. So it melts the wax and you psh, on the envelope. And then it comes with, oh cool. It comes with two little votives that are gonna go like super duper fast. Um, and three colors of wax. and a very nice and heavy Hogwarts seal to on the envelopes and then mail them off to you guys. So I wanted to do that. I love, I used to do a lot of stationary calligraphy things like that and I wanna get back into it. And I really enjoy sending things. And since I've started doing more giveaways, I get to send more things. So a wax seal kit just felt like a good thing to do. So, Hopefully you'll get stuff like that from me very soon if you win things. So that's really cool. I'm glad that's here. Um, and this is super duper well taped actually. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get it open without scissors. Hold on. I've returned with scissors. So these came out of Canada. I'm looking for some very specific French Canadian Harry Potter books or some very specific French Harry Potter books. I'm looking for some that were printed in Canada and I had them at one point. I actually had a set, a box set of three or four. I can't remember now because it was a while ago and they were published and printed in Canada. And at the time, I decided I wanted ones published in France, so I sold them on eBay, not realizing that <laughs> I would want them later. So I've been trying to trace back the set I once had. Okay. Do 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 do. This is very well taped up. I've bought from the seller before. She's pretty good. All right. All right, so here we go. Here is a box set of the four books, let's see. If they're the ones that I wanted. I wish I could remember what I had, but I just don't. No, oh, these are really snug. printed in 2001 
by the Société Nouvelle Ferme Dido. Now, now I have to find out where La Nouvelle Société Nouvelle Ferme Dido. Okay, so I didn't, I don't know. That's not bien. Here's the books, even though I'm sure most of you know what the French cover art looks like. I'll show you anyway. This is the first edition French books. And there's Chamber, Backside. The illustrations are pretty cartoonish. I actually really like them, but it took me a while. I, it took me a while to enjoy them. Azkaban, and Coupe de Feu, Goblet of Fire, number four. And now I really enjoy them, so. The box actually has the same cover art as book four, both sides. All right, back in the box. And two, and one. All right, yay. There they are, aren't they great? And this, as you can tell, is Amazon. I found it. I love these little books. And I'm slowly trying to get them all. I have books one through three in this edition so far. I'll show you what it is. So, Japan has produced many different editions of Harry Potter books. And one of the editions is this small little pocket edition. They're, they're thick. The, some of their po Japan has several different pocket editions as well. Some of their pockets are two volumes. This is one volume. This is the Goblet of Fire. And it even says at the top in English, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Japanese title. A lot, the Japanese books come with these little paper strips at the bottom. I forget what they're called. They have a name. I just can't remember. Um, but anyway, that's it. Book one is really cool as well. I've got, like I said, books one through three and they're, they're soft cover, but they come with a jacket and I think they're really lovely. So I'm slowly getting all of these as well. I've got to finish out the hardcover, but I need books six and seven and hardcover in the Japanese. Then I'll have all of those. Ooh. And sometimes they'll put in like different advertisements and things so this was in the book so this it looks like it came with it actually so that's cool and this is nifty too there's the illustration at the front of the book and the J japanese books have wonderful illustrations very different from what you see in some of the other harry potter books so if you don't have them they're really worth getting. They even have the 20th anniversary house edition books in, in house colors. And they're, they're really pretty colors as well. They picked a lovely green, blue, yellow, and red. And so far as I know, only book one is available in the house editions. And then they have a great Beetle the Bard and they have a hardcover Beetle the Bard as well. Um, they have great books. You should check them out on their Amazon site. There's Amazon Japan. You should really check them out on their website. And shipping from Japan to here through Amazon is really not bad. But this came from Amazon US. Yay, so I have one through four now of these guys. So just three more, and then I have all the books in this edition. Slowly, slowly coming undone. And yes, I know that they're all made in this edition because I've seen the Deathly Hallows floating around. And I haven't been to my P.O. box. I'm actually gonna go tomorrow. It's Sunday right now. It's just been such a long week because of what happened with my Ollivander that I'm just a little bit behind still. But anyway, I'll have more book mail later on in the week, I'm sure. So this is the Hot Topic exclusive box locked Funko Pop. He is really cool. I ordered this guy online through Hot Topic the night he went live along with I ordered the Rita Skeeter pop as well as the Nagini pop. Um, but then I went to Barnes and Noble the next day and found Nagini and Rita. And then I went through to Hot Topic to see if I could find this guy and they were already out. So that's why the unboxing of this guy was not 
with the other two, but now he's here and he's really lovely. I really don't know. I don't have any of the flocked pops. This is my first, but I saw the head wig in person. It wasn't, it didn't do anything for me, but this guy is wonderful. Look at the colors. And I love his stand right here. It's the, the flames. It's a really good pop. And the unflocked comes out next month along with Trelawney and several others. And look at the detail even back there. So really, really a good pop. Really well done. He's definitely moved up to one of my favorites along with like the Newt's Commander 01 and Bogart Snape and the Akami. Those, they're all great. The detail is fabulous and he's definitely up there. Of the three 2019 SDCC Funko Pops, which one was your favorite? The Flocked Fox, Nagini, or Lovely Rita? Which one is your favorite? Put in the comments below. I don't know, honestly. I really like the Fox. But I love the Lovely Rita. I was so excited about her. I think it's a tie for me as to which is my favorite because I really like both of them. I was really excited about her, less so him, and then Nagini didn't do much for me, although she's lovely in person. So I think for me, my favorite, it's a tie between Fox and Rita. So August is my birthday month, as I've said in many videos before this one, and I've been putting together great giveaways. Not one or two or even 10, but I've got 31 days of giveaways. So starting on August 1st will be my 31 days of giveaways. <laughs> there are a lot of JK Rowling forgeries in the marketplace, guys. I cannot stress that enough, a lot. And if you want a JK Rowling signed item or book, I heavily recommend doing your research and checking out the website that I'm running with Patricio from the Rowling Library. I'll put that down below, check it out. It's not by all means everybody, but we do try to add them as we find them. And if you have a forgery that you'd like to send in, I'll put that link down below as well. You can just email it to me there. And you know, if it's not a forgery, we'll tell you, but otherwise, you know, you've got to have constant vigilance. I hate the idea that people are spending thousands of dollars of their hard earned money on forgeries. In the month of March, 2019 alone off eBay US, people spent $6,000 on JK Rowling forgeries. Just JK Rowling, not considering cast signed. There's a bunch of those too. Really do your research, really do your homework, and don't hesitate to ask. And if you have any questions about collecting Harry Potter or just want to talk Harry Potter, you're welcome to reach me here on YouTube. You can find me through my website or my email. You can also find me on Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook or Twitter. With that, I'm going to say thanks for watching and happy collecting.